we have come across the notion of similarity earlier in this course. When we were discussing learning by recording cases, at that particular point, we came across the method of k nearest neighbor. At that point, we found the nearest neighbor simply by looking at the Euclidean distance between the new situation and the familiar situations. We came across the notion of similarity when we were discussing case-based reasoning as well. At that point, we came across at least two different methods of organizing the case library. And that, in one method, we could simply organize all the cases in an array. Here is an array of several cases in the domain of navigation in an urban area. Each case here is represented by the X and Y location of the destination. A different and smarter method was to organize these cases in a discrimination tree. The leaf nodes of this discrimination tree represented the cases. The root node and the intermediate nodes in the discrimination tree represented discrimination or decisions about the values of specific features, for example, east of 5th Street or not east of 5th Street. Both of these case indexing schemes are based on measures of similarity. In the first scheme, the similarity is based on the similarity between the tags. If a new problem were to come along, it will be more or less similar to one of these cases, depending on whether or not its tags match the tags of a particular case here. In the second scheme of the discrimination tree, similarity is based on traversing this particular tree. If a new problem came along, we would use the features of that new problem to traverse this tree and find the case whose features best match the new problem. Note that the new problem and the source cases in all of these examples so far have been in the same domain. Here, for example, both the new problem and the source case are in the same domain of navigating in an urban area. In the previous example, the new problem in the source case was the domain of colored blocks in the blocks world. What happens if the new problem and the source case are not in the same domain? So consider the example of a woman walking up the ladder and an ant walking up the wall. The two domains are not the same. We're talking about woman in one case, ant in another case, a ladder in one case, a wall in another case. Yet, there is some similarity. Situations like this, where the new problem and the source case are from different domains lead to cross-domain analogies. So the question now becomes, how can we find the similarity between the new problem, the target problem, and the source case if they happen to be in different domains? 